when things get a little crazy, part of the preparedness lifestyle or readiness lifestyle is being able to use what you have on hand to make things work. Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're a wastelander just popping in or you're a regular vault dweller, you're always welcome here and glad that you joined us. So today I'm going to show you my home brewed 2 meter Yagi antenna that I built a little over a year ago. Uh, that I will link down in the description the blog from which I got the measurements. So this is not a video to show you how to build it, but rather how to assemble a quick and easy ready to go emergency communications antenna in the times that you may need it. So what we've got here is two meter Yagi tape measure antenna, a painter's pole, and a pole tripod. I believe it's for construction purposes that just had laying around. So we're gonna put it to use today. So here it is fully assembled and I apologize about the wind on the audio there. You can see we have the construction tripod, the painter's pole, and then the Yagi itself. Again, this isn't meant to be a permanent solution, but it's a great throw up emergency antenna or for your temporary location. I'll zoom in right here real quick. As you can see, it takes quite a few straps, um, just smaller elastic straps, and that's some painter's tape there to get it to kind of balance on the center part of the boom. And that's just because the feed point is actually a little bit heavy so it actually makes it tilt backwards which then leaves it not correctly horizontal but i have used this before this build again is about a year old and it's worked well i actually have been getting better signal reports on this when i was using it than i do on my current tram 1481 dual band antenna but again, this is just a two meter antenna. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up a valve fang to it and we're going to test the SWR and hopefully we get a good signal report. All right, so we have the valve fang UV9R Pro hooked up to our Surecom watt analyzer and SWR analyzer. I've done a review on this. You can check that out right up there in the corner. Let's go ahead and turn both of these on. Put the radio on first. Channel mode. Our usual Balfang greeting. And turn the meter on. Try to keep it away from the sun here and hopefully we can see what's going on. All on metrics there. All right. And let's see. Again, the repeater is going to be about 20 miles pointing in that direction. Let's see what kind of signal report we can get. And again, this is my local club's repeater. Let's see what we get. Radio check. One, two, three, three, two, one. Well, there might be a connection issue on there because I was unable to hit the repeater, but I'm not sure if you caught that. We had a still right there. Let's see if we can get it. I'm sorry that it's uh, due to the sun and everything. We have a VSWR right now of 1.01 and forward wattage of 3.0. Seven two no return wattage, so pretty much a 1.0 on SWR, so perfect. Again, this antenna was actually tuned for my club's repeater because this is what I used before I got a quote unquote legitimate antenna up. So, not sure, maybe we're not pointed since it is a five element and its band is kind of narrow to uh, transmit on. So, let's see if we could just tilt it a bit and we'll try again. Radio check. Okay, so unfortunately the club's repeater was not picking up and it could be just with all the connections on it. And again, this is a little five watt radio. Um, but we're gonna try this other repeater, which is equally about as far, but the tower is a lot higher than the club's repeater. So we're gonna try this one. Okay, radio check. Not sure if y'all could hear that, but I did hit the repeater. Turn it up just a little bit more. OXQ. Hey guys, so Pluto and I would like to thank y'all for stopping in and checking out the video thus far. 
if you're finding it helpful and you want to become a vault dweller with us why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'd also appreciate any commentary that you have to offer us for feedback get back into the video all right guys so we made a little bit of adjustments here so i went ahead and took off the surecom uh, analyzer and there's a rubber grommet now inside for the connection port for us we had just too many connection ports because i was getting a receive but it was pretty uh, glitchy overall and maybe just due to propagation and the weather moving in the uh, clubs repeater there on the top frequency may not be able to catch me again the tower is not quite as high as the second one there on the b line that we're going to use so we're going to try once again to get the b line one and uh, see if we can get uh, contact radio check Appreciate the signal report there, sir. Um, I'm using a homebrewed Yagi, just kind of doing uh, some testing on it. Coming at you from uh, Baofeng on about 5 watts, uh, tuned to this frequency and actually tuned to a, a repeater up in the Cleveland for the Shark Club. So glad it's coming in nice and loud. Um, what would you give me on a rating? Am I coming in a 5.9 or a strong 5.8? I copy that. Appreciate it, sir. I was just doing out some testing today and trying to test out a new handheld with a homebrew. Appreciate it again, sir. All right, well, there you go, guys. You uh, saw we could hit a tower. Granted, um, it's a taller repeater with the local area, but homebrew tape measure Yagi antenna can get out about 20 to 30 miles, hit a repeater on a 5 watt handheld. Uh, again, she ain't pretty, but that's not what we're going for when it's time to use one of these. It works. That's all that counts. Guys, I hope you found the video informational. Until next time, always be getting ready. See you around.